that off the court stuff is is very important. And that was like you said, you know, having a glass of wine after a game, like you couldn't, I, like you know, what I'm saying, like you couldn't do, like you literally, they wanted you to be a robot, play, practice, be in your room, like. You could have friends or family on the opposite team. You ask the team, you know, can you go to dinner with them? Um, you know, no. Like, you have to eat the same thing for 10 months. Like, that That was some of the stuff, you know, for me um, that I kind of got tired of. But I got lucky, you know, I think with my last um, three teams, you know, I think Coach Barzokas was, the, was probably my favorite coach because he was the first coach who kind of, you know, like you said, he he wanted to make sure everybody was happy. So when they came to work, you know, they did their job. And that was like, you know, if you wanted to take your family on a trip, you know, when he told us the rules we had, you know, I thought, I was like, this can't be a European coach. Like, you know, he was like, you know, if you get three trips, you know, your family want to travel with you, they can travel on a plane, you can stay in the same room, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you guys, you know, three trips where it is. Or if we play in a good city, we got the next day off or two days off, like y'all can stay as long as you, you're back before practice or, you know, stuff like that. We used to be like, that's amazing. And that that's made amazing. Us, I remember <laughs> we had a, we had a trip and this is just off topic, but when we was in locomotive, you know, I wasn't supposed to be there. I was actually going to leave um, because they were cutting the budget. And, you know, Coach Barzokas, um, he wanted me for pretty much my whole career. And, you know, he told them like, yo, I'm not believe I'm leaving. So, you know, that was the first time I seen a coach actually like, go against the club for a player. And I was like, I was like, this dude, he's been showing interest in me, but I'm like, I've never heard a player threaten the club. Like, I mean, a coach threaten the club and say like, you know, I built a team around this guy. If he leaves, I'm out too. And, you know, moving forward, we had a, I think a game, they were cutting the budget. We had bad flights and, you know, Eric, you played in Loco. So, you know, how the travel is there. We had like the worst travel where we were standing, you know, uh, Moscow for six hours at a time, every layover. And, you know, we lost the game and we got back. They had a meeting with us in the airport and the owner was just like, yo, like, y'all got to stop losing games. And Barzoka just stood up and he was like, you know, you give us the worst flights. You know, we got, um, you know, Fasenko on the team. He's six, well, seven feet, 300 pounds. You got managers sitting in exit rows, but Fasenko is sitting in a regular tier. Um, he was like, what do you expect from my team if, you know, he's like, I don't expect my team to win with the way you guys are treating me. He was like, if you want us to win games, you need to, you know, change your approach on how you treat the players. And after that meeting, everybody looked at Coach Barzogas like, yo, like, this dude really cares about the players. And, you know, like I said, he implemented certain stuff where it was like, we always had a day off after. And this was before everybody was doing it. Like, every game we had, we had a day off. I don't care you know, what it was. We could have game two or three days later. You had a day off the rest. Um, like I said, he didn't care. If you had a, a friend on another team and you said, look, coach, you know, can I go eat dinner with my friend? You didn't have to go to a team dinner to eat the same, you know, trash food for 10 months. If you had a friend on another team, he trusted that his player would go to dinner, be responsible, come back, you know, at a reasonable time and go to work. And I think, you know, that took us over the top that year. And a lot of people was wondering, you know, why our team was so, um, we had, uh, we were together so much. And it's because off the court, you know, we were the same as on the court. 